Today I'm going to show you how to use the Optimized Media feature in DaVinci Resolve. Optimized Media allows us to speed up the editing process by only using a low resolution version of the files during the editing process, but still allows us to render the final video at full quality. Looking at the example on the screen, you can see that scrubbing through this 4K footage is not very smooth and, as you can imagine, Editing this would be a very frustrating process. I'm going to show you how to go from that jerky video to this by following a few simple steps. First, we need to go to the project settings by clicking on the cog in the bottom right of the screen. Then we need to select master settings and scroll down until we see the optimized media section. You can play with these settings and experiment, but I have found that for my system, setting resolution to quarter and format and cache frames to DNX HR HQX works very well. You can also change the working folders, and I have mine set to a solid state drive, which if you have one, I would recommend. The files generated are not particularly large, so a small solid state drive is enough. Mine is just 250 gigabytes. Once you have made those changes, click Save. Now go to the Media tab and select the footage that you are editing. If you have multiple files, it is possible to select more than one. Right click on the file and select Generate Optimized Media. This will take a while so if I have a lot of this to do, I will often do this late at night, kick off the generation and go to bed. For now, I'll just go and get a cup of tea. Okay, now that the optimized media has been generated, go back to the Edit tab and make sure that under Playback you have Use Optimized Media if available checked. Once you have done that, you should now find that the system has no problem keeping up with you. You can now edit as you would normally. Once your edit is finished, render as normal in any resolution, even up to 4K. The system will automatically know to pick up the video from the full resolution files. So rendering is slow, but editing is fast, which is a good compromise. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please like our Facebook page at Avius Aerial Media. I also have more tutorials on our webpage, which is www.aviusaerialmedia.com.